Uh, welcome back to Ricketts Reef DIY How To Number Two. The topic of this how to will be mounting frag plugs and mounting your frag into your tank onto your rock work. I get this question quite often, so I figured I'd do a quick video on it. So let's do it. All right, so here we are. We've got all the stuff we need to make a frag. Um, some of you know that I make my own frag plugs out of the DIY rock that I make for my system. I just take the bits and pieces that fall off the rock and I keep them in a bin and I keep them in my sump so they get, you know, they get cycled with the tank. So those are my frag plugs and they look like the rock in my system so there's no big unsightly weird looking frag plugs sitting around waiting for the coral to grow over. It kind of blends in a little nicer. So you need a frag plug. You need super glue gel. Now you can go to Walmart or uh, Canadian Tire or Home Hardware or Home Depot or all these places and you can get regular super glue gel made by super glue. Now that stuff, you're looking at probably about six bucks a bottle. Uh, in Canada, I don't know about the States, I'm sure they have these in one way or another. They have these stores called the Dollar Store or a buck or two or the 99 cent store or something like that. And there they have, it's called thick super glue gel. It's the same stuff, the ingredients are the same. The ingredient you're looking for is called uh, cyanocrylite. You can look it up. Let's see if I can get it on the camera here. You can see it there. That's it. It's got to be made out of that. That's cool stuff. So you got your super glue gel, the gel, not regular stuff. You got your frag plug. You might need a cutting utensils to trim your frag if you're cutting it from a mother colony. Uh, razor blades for leathers, scissors for some other ones. I sometimes use these. These are my Klingon war scissors. They uh, they will cut anything, and it's kind of cool. They come apart, so they're easy to clean. If you ever find scissors like that, they're great. I don't need to cut a frag today because there's a piece that just fell off one of my SPS. I'm just going to use that. It's been floating around my system. I don't even know if it'll, it'll survive, but I figured I'm sick of watching it float around my system. I'm going to put it on a frag plug. So we take our frag plug, take our super glue gel. This is a brand new bottle, so that means we got to puncture the, the top. I highly suggest you do not squeeze the tube until you puncture because if you've squeezed it before you puncture it, when you puncture, it will just blow out. Here. here we go, we made a little hole in our gel. Put our applicator tip back on. Take our frag plug, make it so it's, uh, that's a good sturdy position. Glob of glue on it. Great. Got that. Take your frag. Dab the bottom on a piece of toilet paper if you can. So you got dry contact. Place it on the super glue. Kind of wiggle a little bit. Just wait a second. Corals can sit out of the water for a few minutes. Don't worry, they're not going to die. Um, stink a little. Then what I like to do after a few seconds is I like to take a bit of water and just kind of pour it over my frag. What that does is it creates, it makes the super glue bond a little quicker. It make, makes the super glue have like a, a white skin and it sticks a little more. So I'll hold it out for a few minutes, wiggle it around a little more got a bit of a suction. Once you've got that done, throw it back into the bath and let it sit for a few minutes. Uh, you know, not too long so the temperature doesn't drop because you've got a small body of water that's susceptible to cold air. Here in Canada it's cold all the time. You know, we take dog sleds to work and so on and so forth. So, we'll let it sit for a few minutes. Alright, now for putting the frag into the tank. So you've got your frag, you've got it mounted to a frag plug. 
Um, I'm not going to do the one I just showed you into the tank. I'm going to pick one that I'm going to keep because that one, if it grows, I'm going to actually sell it. Um, so first you got to do is pick your frag and pick where you want to put it. Let's see. I am going to... I gotta, the good thing about this is it's easy to take off, but it's not easy enough, so snails are going to push it off. Some people like to use all sorts of putties and stuff, but not me. I don't think I need that. Um, I haven't in my nano. I hope I won't hear. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one that's been particularly annoying to me lately, and that's uh, one of my zoos down here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put some glue on them and I'm gonna stick them onto the tank so let me just kinda angle the camera here so I can show doing that okay so you got your you got your frag plug frag in your hand you wanna dap off the bottom on a towel if you can take your frag put some glue on the bottom shove it in your tank you might have to do this a couple of times until it sticks when you get it on your spot you're going to want to wiggle it around until you feel the suction. Once you feel the suction, just kind of kind of hold it in place for a while until you know it's good and solid. You'll know. Find your spot. Whoops. I got some glue stuck to my finger. That's never good. So as you see that one didn't work, I screwed it up a bit. Um, it's also good to find your spot first and test it. I'm going to want to put it there. So second application of glue. into my spot I just had it press it down Run a good amount of pressure there we go I can tell it's already sticking wiggle it back and forth and it's on there give it now I'm gonna do this green one over here it's that simple Pull it out. Got your frag pug. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a whole bunch of glue. Get her on the bottom there. Get her down inside the tank. Gonna angle these ones a little bit over here. didn't stick very well the first time. Rarely does it stick well the first time. Okay, so I'm pulling it out. Adding another glob of glue. Back in he goes. Find your spot. Push it down, apply some pressure. There we go. And we're good. So those ones are on there. It's that simple. Now they're going to be nice and secure. Um, snail might knock it off, but it's highly unlikely. Usually when a snail feels a bit of resistance, it goes on it. So I haven't had a problem yet. I've glued a few on the top, and we'll see how they do. Okay, good luck.